What's up, everybody? How are we doing tonight? Friday night. Friday, Friday, Friday. Yes, it is a Friday night, and we are going to be working on this serpent again. Um, unfortunately, I'm having two speed problems now. It's all broken, though. All broken. What's up, Lorne? Hopefully everybody can hear me okay. Uh, like I said, we're having two speed problems. I was finishing up the break-in procedure on this serpent. And now, two speeds locked up. See? We're locked up, guys. What's up, Lotus? What is up? What is up? What is up? So... Two speeds locked up on the Serpent SRX 8 GT. If you guys are just joining me and didn't hear, this one right here, if you guys want to watch, something's going on here. It was running fine, running fine, and then it was right at the end of the, the break in. Something backed its way out. So. We're going to get into that and see if we can remedy that situation because Sunday I want to, I want to run this thing and tune it in and hit that lean spot Sunday because I've been, I got this all broken in now. Get her into the lean spot. You know what I'm saying, guys? Just send it. Just going to send it. Get that. I don't know. I've got to find a good orientation for that air filter. I was waiting for somebody to say that, Lotus. <laughs> Excuse me. So, how's everybody doing on this Friday evening? Friday, March 1st, 2024. 20 more days till spring. 20 more days till, uh, till the future starts looking brighter. The days start getting longer. And uh, the nitros come out to play. More and more nitros, guys. More and more nitros. Lean is mean. Yes, it is. Especially with nitro. Except for uh, get too lean with the gas. The gas RCs. You're gonna you're gonna blow it up. The fuel makes power with the gas. Pitbull air air cooled. What's up, my man? Lauren's here, Pitbull's here, Lotus is here, Josie Wilds is here. Uh, yeah, man, I feel bad that you can't do the nitro and gas. Like I said, I commented back earlier to your um, your comment on my short, Mr. Mister Josie Wilds. And uh, I live within a city city limit here. Hold on. I got distracted. I... My nice on-road body was on the floor. Ooh, shiny red ball. So like I was saying, I do live in like a, a village. And as long as you're courteous, I I don't have a problem. But every situation is different. I'm sure yours is different. Chris, what's up, my man? Yeah. Yeah, one track brain. I saw the body on the floor. I'm like, I gotta go get that. <laughs> so, like I was saying earlier, guys, we're having two speed problems. And Lotus Four Twenty said he feels bad for me. He's got ninety nine problems, but two speeds ain't one. This is all broken in. It's ready to go, guys. But we're locked up. Rolling free, locked up. So, I got to take this apart, find out what's going on. This actually has two adjustment screws. It's a two-shoe, two two-speed clutch, and it has two adjustment screws on it. So, I'm wondering if one of them backed out and is kind of holding me up. So, I'd like to figure that out. 
the manual doesn't very have very much information on it. So this serpent, the owner's manual has little to no information on it at all. You basically have to figure everything out yourself. Uh, no factory settings listed anywhere in the manual. There's little to no information on what weight fluids in the shocks, what's in the diffs, your preloads, nothing. So you basically, it's up to the user to, to figure that out. It's kind of, uh, it kind of aggravates me to tell you the truth because you, you would have think in, a, in like an owner operator manual, there'd be at least base carb settings. Come on, you can go on any manufacturer, engine manufacturer's website and you could find base carb settings extremely easy. 100 to 1, what's up, John? Floyd Brewer, what's up, brother? John, Chris, Todd's here. The gang's all here. We got Cyclone, Lotus. Glad to see you guys. Glad to see you guys. So, listen, I caught it before anything... Uh, I caught it before anything got ruined. None of the gears got stripped. Um, everything still rolls free to the point where it's rolling forward. It's when I try and... Because there's a one-way bearing in there, so... It's definitely something with that two-speed clutch system. So... Without further ado, guys, I will get into this, and as more people uh, hop in, I'll say hello to them, and we'll we'll chat, discuss, and and we'll see how this goes. I I'll try and keep an eye on the chat. Hybrid, what's up, my man? What is up, my man? Yep, we are. We got two speed problems here today, boys. Two speed problems. So hopefully. This isn't too much of a pain in the arse to uh, to get this remedied. I mean, it should just be pretty cut and dry. Take the whole center assembly out. Sorry, guys. I got my big head in the way like always. That's more better for you guys. That should be more better. Dig in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dig in. It's always, you just got to rip the bandage off. You know what I'm saying when it comes to, to wrenching? You can talk about it all day long. We are making progress on the, uh, we're making progress on that. Low C build too. Nah, 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 nah. I'm making this work, John. I actually really like the way this thing runs. Ooh. We almost, we had a screw backing out here. That's one of the screws that I put in with the, uh, oh, what you call it, when I redid the uh, the radio system a couple streams ago. Slick Trick, what's up? Yeah, we're going to see if this needs thread lock, man. We're going to see if it needs thread lock. Uh... I'm not entirely sure. I've never had anything a serpent before, so we'll see what it what it has to offer. I'm just gonna take these brake cams off. So that way that linkage is off and then I'll pop the, uh, so I took the brake cam linkage off of the, uh, 
what is this called? The center section. So we'll put them back on when we're done. And then I should just be able to pop that right out. Just a normal dog bone setup. Put these in my magnet. Get my magnetic tray. Should just be able to pop this center section right out. These use a two speed similar to the TC3 with two adjustment screws and two screws holding it to the shaft. Thank you for the information, Hybrid. Hybrid is the nitro guru. Just like that, four screws and it's free from the chassis. All right. Pull the front rear drive shaft. They are the same length, but I am going to keep them separate. All right. So, something is definitely discombobulated here. Even if it's not, it's best to take a look. Take it apart and take a look. All right. So it looks like you just take this little spreader plate. That's what I'm gonna call that. Looks like this just holds these two towers together. Right. Hopefully I can just get one side of this off. I'll take them both out. Sometimes it's easier just to take it down farther than it needs to be. But other times I kick myself in the butt for doing that. Oh, I get my pick. All right. Get this spread apart. All right. That just slid right off like so. It leaves the bearings right on the shaft. You'd think the other side would pop out the same way. We just give her a little tap. Yep, dropped right out. All right. Well, now it's free. I'm still gonna tear it down and see what's going on in there. All right. What's up, Fifth Scale Ripper? <laughs> yeah, I know, Lotus. It's free. I, I don't... This happens to me all the time. The minute I take something apart, it's, it's miraculously... It's a miracle. It's a miracle! We got three more screws holding this together. Oh, I'm going to have to take. Going to have to take the drive cup off.
bearing. All right, let's see what happens. Just had to turn that or tap that back on so that I could access the the screw that holds that on the shaft. Ooh, oh, we got shims here, guys. We got shims. I don't want to lose these. Looks like we got got three shims they were in between that bearing and the uh the clutch something's uh what is going on here Something is holding up this collar. Don't want to force it. Going to wiggle it out nice and slow. So these are two mil heads in there, guys. Just kind of trying to line everything up. Trying to see if I could see which one's the culprit. Which one's hanging everything up. See, nothing's really hanging up anymore. I don't get it. Uh, yeah, right, John. What uh, who's going out Monday? Vance, go, you going out Monday? I'm just trying to figure out how to get this damn thing off. This should just slip right off. And it's not. Something's holding me up. Alright, so there's one of the screws there. All right, sorry guys if I'm a little quiet. Just trying to figure out this, this clutch because I think I found the one that's holding everything up. Tighten this up. That puts pressure on that. All right, so I loosen that side up. Now we're locked up again.
Tap, tap, tap a roo. Beat it. Just beat it. I wonder if I take this other side off. If this other gear will come off. Mm -hmm. All right, this might make it a little easier. That one way bearing's good. Wow, I'm dumb. Dummy. Hey, I figured it out. I was trying to take it apart the wrong way. <whistles> Dummy. All right. So, so how this goes together, guys. this piece of aluminum there's a shoulder on this side this slips over the clutch slips over the two-speed clutch like so hold on let me I gotta screw this screw in a little bit to even show you how this works hopefully somebody finds this video before they make the same mistake I did so here's your, your two-speed clutch is attached to your, your center shaft. This piece of aluminum has a shoulder on the back side of it. This slides in like this. Then this, uh, this is your 58 tooth. Slides over like this. Then this screws to that. And this one has your one-way bearing on it. This is your 63 tooth. And this slides like that. Then your bearing. Then your other bearing. And then you get this. So this this is a... It all has to come apart, is what I'm trying to get at. Oh, so now let's see if I can make this so it's not screwed up anymore. Kind of have to get these first things first. Let me take this whole clutch apart. So there's a roller in here. All right, so that puts pressure on that shaft. The one thing I'm not understanding is which one adjusts Which one is the adjustment?
because like I said before, I've never had a, a setup like this before. So are these the ones here that hold the two piece together? Are these the adjustment or the, the ones with the spring on it? Or the ones that ride in the center, the little Allens, are they the adjustment? I don't know. What's up, Addicted? How are you doing? What's up, RC Ohio? I already said hello to you, but I'm going to say it again. But like I said, the instructions don't have any... Any, uh... There's nothing in the manual about this clutch. So I don't know. So we got two screws here. <coughs> screw here and a screw here with a spring on it that hold both the, the clutch shoes onto the shaft. And then we have these set screws here that run on a cam on the shaft. There's like a roller cam in there. So I'm not sure which one actually adjusts the shift point. But right there is kind of loose. Yes, I am. Yes, I am, John. So this is a trial and error thing, guys. I slide this all back together. Hopefully this remedies the situation. No, because this is still binding right there. Something's hitting. These set screws are hitting. But if you put them in too much, you set those set screws in too much, then they're so if you tighten those up too much, then they activate the clutch. But if you don't put them in enough, then they they have clearance problems themselves. What I'm talking about, guys, is we got we got a just an Allen grub screw there. Got a grub screw here, and both these grub screws are on a roller cam that right on the shaft and then this is a a bolt and a spring and a bolt and a spring that hold these two shoes together all right thank you curtis baker so So, you could tell me if I'm right or wrong by the way I'm going to explain this to myself. So, these, these grub screws aren't an adjustment at all. They're, they don't adjust the shift point at all. They're just mainly there to keep, keep it in the, hold it in its position on the shaft. They just need to be snug.
and then these, the screws with the springs on them are what actually adjust the tension. But what my problem is now One of these grub screws was was out far enough where it was interfering with the uh, the engagement. It was locking it up. So I'm just gonna run these in a little bit till they're flush. There's not a lot of room here for, for tolerance, that's what I'm noticing. Tighten these down relatively tight. All right, that seems to clear good. It's all plastic. I'm not gonna put any Loctite on it, it's all plastic. It's all threaded into plastic. So yeah, Curtis, I'm I'm seeing exactly what you're saying. So these are flush. Sorry for the bad picture. So this here and this one here, they have to be flush with the top of this clutch or else there'll be interference. What I'm going to do is get out my silver pen. I can find it. And I'm going to mark the uh, the actual adjustment screws with silver so that when I'm rolling this clutch over, I can see. Because I already know that once this gets put back together, I'm going to have to adjust this. So at least maybe I can see this. So that I'm not getting on the wrong screw. Because I can already see that being a problem. So one of these grub screws must have backed themselves out during the break-in. The center set screw for that roller ball, the roller ball is only supposed to be tightened until the screw touches the ball. No pressure on the roller ball. Perfect. That's exactly how I have it now. See, I got a Curtis Baker here. He's my uh, he's my Serpent RC manual right now. Because, uh, like I said before, there's nothing in the in the operator's manual about this. So we are free and clear now, guys. Put this uh, put these screws back in. 
See, this is why I do these live streams, guys, so that this helps tremendously, especially with something you're unfamiliar with. And now it'll be, even if it's just the audio, if you guys can't really tell through, from my visual, now it's documented on how this can be done. And if I wanted to, I could take this all apart and make a video on it and then uh, explain how Curtis Baker was here to tell me how this clutch worked. Snug these up into the gear. Still rolling good. There is a beer bearing inside that gear. Cool, cool, cool. So I get my three shims on. Get my bearing. I'm gonna relock tight my my grub screw here for this. Uh, some more lactate on there. All right. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, guys, I want to take this out on Sunday. Sunday's supposed to be beautiful. So I'm going to take this thing out Sunday. I want to do some on-road stuff on Sunday. Definitely go out and get some on-road stuff going. I can already feel that's a short head on that grub screw. I can already feel that wanting to strip out on me. That one-way bearing's grabbing. Definitely want to oil that one-way bearing. Get some oil on her. Not too much. Not too much oil there, KGM. There you go, buddy. Rampage weekend with a side of T-Max. I like to hear that. Go run that boat. She's biting good, guys. She's biting good. Get my bearing on there. Get this guy in there. Get some Loctite. That's all you need. A little drop. A little drop. Got another E word coming to the channel, guys. Another electric. I'm an equal opportunity destroyer. I love all things RC. Oh, yeah, we're rolling free now, guys. Look at that. She ain't like no more. One-way bearings biting. 
We're good to go. We're good to go, man. Get our brake shoe back in there. Get this guy back in. Whew. See, just a little bit of a little bit of help from my peers. We're back in business. Now, we're rolling smooth, guys. Rolling smooth. Yep, Harbor Freight pick set for the win, man. I love that thing. I got the dental pick set, too. Sometimes those are a little too fine for, uh, you know, they're, they're weak. They're a finer pick. Better for O-rings. going to run my off now LD3 which has the same setup awesome man yeah like I said I've never had a two speed uh quite like that before even my even the king motor one in the fifth scale it just has uh the one dog that that whips off and grabs they're all fun you're right Todd I almost had a mini heart attack. If this was on the table. This gear touches touches cotton. I was like, why is this not spinning? But we're good. Spins on there now. Now let me see if I could see my my silver. Yep, I could see my silver in there just barely. Oh, I mean, in all honesty. The ones that are too close to the, the ones that are right at the surface, I should know better. So now we will get this back onto that. No lineup pins, really? Unbelievable. What? No way. You ever see that guy before? What? No way. These are the same length. Want to double check that. In my luck. It'll be the next problem. Put this puzzle back together now. It's always fun. Oh, oh, I think I did it. I did it, guys. I did it. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. Oh, so I appreciate everybody stopping out and hanging out with me. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that. You guys are great. I love it. I'm entertaining enough to have fine RC individuals watching me. Sometimes I struggle, sometimes I don't. Most of the time I do struggle, though. There ain't nothing wrong with that. I like struggling. Struggling's my favorite. Yeah, yeah. Just grab two of the same driver, why don't you? 
This is a two mil again. I'm gonna come unglued. All right, there we go. There we go. Tight, 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 tight. Check the engine mount. Make sure that's tight. I'm just going through and I'm going to check all these on the bottom of the chassis. I was surprised that one did come out. It was threaded into plastic. Usually, the plastic bites pretty good. Even that one was starting to back out on the front diff. All right. Thanks, Josie Wilds. I appreciate it. Hey, 907, what's up, my man? I appreciate you stopping in. Dick did still here. Out to dinner with the family. Waitress just came and asked if, you, if everything tasted fine with when he had a mouthful. Then he showed her his friend KGM. Then he had to be like, oh, sorry, honey. KGM's taken. KGM's married. He can't, he can't be flirting with the waitress from New Jersey. All right, now we can put this brake cam back on. This feels like a nice neutral position. I could always readjust it later. All right, yeah, that feels fine. Famous last words. Good. Put these bolts back in. I will lock tight these. Hey man, take that big block T Max to the crawler track. Tell them if they don't like it, they can leave. They're the problem. All right. We got brakes again. Bernsey, I hope you're here right now. I really hope Bernsey's here. Oh, Bernsey. I love how fast that servo is. Good thing I checked because we ain't got no brakes. So. Take these. Find out what's going on with these. All right. So if I kind of, how do I want to do this? I had this right. Oh, what 
did you do? It should be the way it was. Why, 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 why? I'll figure this out. Really don't want to change the endpoint because if I change the endpoint, then that will. Bend the throttle linkage. So if I tighten up this collet, change those collets. So, let me ask you a question, Curtis Baker. When I adjust the shift points, do I want to use the grub screws or do I want to use the screws that hold the shoes? is quite interesting to me that this has to be readjusted this much. Interesting. Full throttle break. dragging a little bit like that. Back this off just a skosh.
The rest I'll just have to adjust with the end point. So strange that that all I did was take it off. It should have went back on. Same way, but maybe that. Interesting. Just that with the end point. <sighs> you turn the two side screws and not the center one that holds the roller ball and shoes together. All right, turn the two side screws. All right, man, that's what I thought. I wanted to double check. I do not want to screw this up again. It's going to be a fun little car. I can't wait to run this. I'm getting a toe cramp. Toe cramp. All right. What was that a two mil? It's a two mil. You really can't see in there neither. The two shifting grub screws should be pointing at an angle and the roller ball set screw will be pointing upward. Yes, thank you. I kind of um I understand that. And I did um I did hit them with my silver paint marker too. Which is a good thing, so that I can see. It stinks because you really can't. Tell which one you're on, right? Which one you already adjusted. That, that's the one I don't want to touch. We're still rolling free. That'll be something to do during testing. So I think I am going to take this over and fire it up just to see if I can get it to. Hopefully you guys will be able to see me. A 
to be a little bit far away, but it'll be all right. Fires right up, guys. Uh, <laughs> Todd. <laughs> uh, Brett, Brett, Brett. Yep. I need to loosen them up a little bit. Bring it back over here. That one's silver. That's the one I'm looking for. You know what I should do? I should take this all apart again and put put a mark on the outside of Take it all apart again and put a mark on the outside of the clutch so that when it's all together I can see. Alright, there's the bore for the screw. Oh, wrong way. Let's wait for it to come around again. Loosen that up a half a turn. Start with half a turn. That's the one I don't want. 
That's the one I do. Half a turn on that. Let's see what that gets me. We we hit one speed. Remember, you can't back them off anymore. It can be. It can already be in second gear yet. I had them relatively tight, so let's see what this does. Turn them back in. I don't know. Hello. Is that the screw I'm looking for? That one's tight. See, I went so tight with that one, now it's locked up. Now this is stuck in there. Oh boy. Oh boy. KGM's got problems. GM's making problems for himself. Why does this do this? Who's the engineer who developed this? I think I'm right in the nuts. That's the one I don't want to touch. That's the one I do. Yeah, I hear you, Noble. I got it free again. Yeah, they might get a little upset. Good thing it's the winter team and everybody has their windows closed.
Eh, might be a project for another day. I'm going to get frustrated and not get too frustrated. And it's not good. You know what I mean, guys? One thing at a time. Sometimes you're the bug, sometimes you're the windshield. You know what I'm saying, guys? I could also have it too rich still, so. I hear that, Mr. Wilds. I hear that. You know, I've lived here for so long where everybody's kind of used to it already. <laughs> used to my engines firing up. Firing up two-stroke RCs at all hours of the night. Decent stuff. Dr. Pepper, strawberries, and cream. Zero sugar. Sugar free. Sugar free. I hear that, man. Nothing worse than hearing boom, 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 boom. That's my impression of subwoofers. That was my uh, subwoofer impression. Ba boom 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 ba 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 boom boom boom. That's how subwoofer sound. Not all right. I think what I'll do again. It's not right now. So I'm gonna pull this two speed again, and then I'm gonna try and label these clutches. And honestly, I really, I'll know more once I get it tuned. You know what I'm saying, guys? It could be too rich to shift. It's not hitting enough RPM. So. But... But, 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 that's enough of that. I got it freed up. Now Curtis Baker taught me how to work with that clutch, so that's good for me, man. It's good for me. Right? Now, I usually fire the 40 GT up with the, with the door closed. All the windows and doors closed. If it was the summertime, I'd have a little bit of remorse, but it's the winter. Everybody's got their windows closed. Their heat's on. So... The one thing that I noticed about this body, which is kind of stupid to me, is they got they got the <coughs> they got the lights molded into the body, and then they took the graphic, and it's a totally different graphic than the shape of the headlight bezel in the body. Like I was looking at that earlier, I was laughing to myself. Like, I don't know what you guys were trying to accomplish, but it is a decent-looking body for not being a licensed body. Got some Bones Brew oil on my phone. Last of it. I'm not firing up the 40. Sixty-four Galaxy. Why not, man? If you got one to donate, I'll take it. 
Yeah, I got to count the turns. Uh, I got to actually get a little notepad and write it down. Because usually, like, even with my big bores, I, I'll keep a little track outside of the factory. And then I'll, I'll write factory. And then I'll write minus how much of a turn I gave it. Or plus how much of a turn... All that marker came off on this driver. This driver has a bunch of silver on it now. So that didn't work out the way I planned, but now that I know what I'm looking for, always count the turns is right, man. What else do I have? This one. We got speed run Sunday going, so this guy's coming out of retirement. The three S infraction. So this guy. What I want to do with this one is change out the pinion. Pinion. I want to hit a hundred with this thing so bad. I think this little guy would be awesome to hit a hundred with. I haven't hit a hundred with an RC yet. Not really sure if this is the one to do it with, but it's the one I want to. is a good setup but sometimes it's a pain to get this out just because everything's so tight all right give me a paper towel i still got some oil on the bench can't even remember how fast I hit with the last time I ran this. It was like, uh, I want to say it was close to 60 maybe. I don't remember. It's been over a year almost. It's been a while. Yeah, it's the... Uh, it's the infraction, it's a 3S infraction. This, uh, this one started out as a brushed mega truck. So Arma used to sell It's a 3S chassis, or it's the BLX chassis, and it's uh, it came as a brushed RC, had a nine-turn brushed end, uh, motor in it, and uh, what the heck was I going to say? Tower Hobbies had it as like a, it was some kind of sale, so I bought it. It was cheap. It was... It was just over a hundred dollars when I bought it, which was an extremely good deal. 
and um, yeah, so sorry, I lost my train of thought, but anyways, it started out brushed, and then I went ahead and made it not brushed. I put a big rock system in it. So this is running, uh, what is this? 3200 KV spectrum. And it has a 4S ESC from the, it's a 120 amp spectrum ESC out of a outcast. Out of an outcast. So. Just bear with me, guys. Sometimes I lose my train of thought when I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing next. Sometimes, not all the time. Not the best at multitasking. Not the best at giving you guys a good shot at what I'm doing either, apparently. The dreaded E clip. Hopefully this don't fly everywhere. Alright. Get this little guy off of there. Bingo, bingo. And then this has a little... There is a grub screw in there. Which is a pain in the arse to get to. I almost want to drill out the bottom of this so I can get to that grub screw better, but... In another, the other sense, I don't, but what you kind of have to do is you have to uh, take the motor off the plate in order to get to that grub screw with this big old pinion on there. Yeah, this was extremely cheap for what it is. So this is essentially a vendetta. So th this was, I bought this the year that the vendetta came out. And everybody was all gung-ho about that vendetta. And now uh, that's discontinued. And then essentially they replaced it with a pickup truck version. But if I could just get this grubby out, we'll be in business. All right. All right, there's that grub, that grubber. There's this is the one I'm looking for. Yeah. This has stripped screw written all over it. Yes, this came two wheel drive too. I forgot to say that. I had to buy the drive shaft. I totally forgot about that. This mega truck did come two wheel drive. So this is a 26 tooth pinion. I have a 28 and I have a 32. Do I just go for the 32? But I think I have to draw, I have to get a smaller spur gear if I go right to the 32. Let's try the 28, see how fast we get with the 28, because I really don't want to overheat the engine either, or the motor. See, that's my problem. Motors are engines, and engines are motors, man. And the schnozberries taste like schnozberries. Yeah, the Vendetta body was really cool. I kicked myself in the butt for not buying one when they were cheap. Because they had a huge sale when they were closing them out. But I already had this thing. 
So it's kind of like, what, what do you do? Do you, do you buy, do you go through and you buy the same thing you already have again, just because it has a different body or, I mean, I'm not one to do that. Why wouldn't I just buy a new body? If I really wanted the Vendetta, if I already had this. So we got that E clip on there. Still gotta tighten up this scrubber. Very, very hard to get to that way. Well, there really is no other way to do it when you got such a big pinion on here. I might be getting to the extent of uh, what I can go here with this spur. Unfortunately, I don't know if I have another. I don't know if I have any spur gears that'll fit this HD slipper. Because I also put an HD slipper on it. Come on, what do you got going on here? Sometimes, man. Sometimes stuff just does not want to cooperate. Come on, come on. And I can't see half the time. Just kind of make this happen, guys. Cross threaded and nature's Loctite. Oh, that's what's happening. It's the uh, the pinions getting in the way. The pinion is getting in the way. but I can't get that grub screw in. If I put the pinion in last, well, I could, but I'm gonna have to, come on. I know, I wish I wouldn't have talked myself out of it either, Todd. One of them things where you're like, uh, when are you ever going to get another opportunity like that? Especially now that it's discontinued. I'm sure there's enough of them floating around where there's guys that bought them and regret buying them. There really are not many RCs I regret buying. There are a few. The USA one may be one of them.
Yeah, I'm not going to be able to put this on again like this. Yeah, this pinion's got to come off. That pinion has to come off. What I should do is just drill a hole on the side of this so I can get it in. I guess I can get it right there. Don't know why I didn't think of that before. Don't know why. in there. I am glad that that, uh, what you call it, was an easy fix. So, so your pinion goes on. Kind of difficult to mesh this. You kind of got to fit this plate on and off. See, this is way too tight now. No backlash. much backlash that's uh I'm gonna strip the gear backlash maybe not I don't know uh. this is the thing that some of these RC engineers don't think about So this isn't, I think it's too much backlash, but it's not. <clears throat> it's actually the gear moving on the motor shaft it's in between two magnets. I'm going to run it. It'll break itself in, right? But what's nice about these Arma pinions is they are keyed so it's not like they're going to strip out on the shaft and as long as you got that you really don't even need that grub screw because as long as you got the e-clip on it it's not going to come out 
<coughs> Not at all. All right, that's on. We got our unknown backlash set. Get this guy back together. Do recommend putting this back hand tight because this aluminum plate that this all threads into is not the strongest threads and I have stripped them out before. I have. Oh no guys, I'm running out of battery. Apparently my computer wasn't charging the whole time. Sorry guys, I'm running out of battery on the laptop. And the last time this happened, I lagged out. But. Keep an eye out guys, we're doing speed run Sunday tomorrow. So the way I've been doing my videos, I'm kind of like two or three weeks behind on footage. You know, they get it's get released two or three weeks after the fact. So just keep an eye out. I hate to cut it short, but I don't want to lag out like I did the last time. I don't know. If that was like a 45-minute stream I did a couple weeks ago. And uh, I think I was working on a Baja or something, and I just lagged out all of a sudden. Unfortunately, one of my something's going on with my laptop where the one USB port doesn't want to work. So, we'll run this, guys. But, guys, I'm going to end it there. I apologize for doing it so abruptly, but I try and give you guys the best quality that I can afford to give, you know with what I have, with the equipment I have. It's like a low budget, straight to DVD movie. All right, guys. I appreciate everybody hanging out with me tonight. Sorry to end it so abruptly, but fortunately, I don't get along too well with technology all the time. Thanks, Curtis Baker. I appreciate all your help. I'm glad you're still here. I do appreciate all the help you gave me tonight. You uh, definitely get the MVP. You get the MVP award tonight for sure, man. I would have been lost without you, man. I'm glad somebody in the stream knew how to knew how to make that work. Oh, stop, John. What a jokester. Good night, guys.